Na 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 mishmash. Hey, you ever wonder why we sing at church? We are going to find that answer, and we will find out the answer too. Can Siri sing? Can she do it? Today on mishmash. Caleb, do you like to sing? I love singing. Yeah, what's your favorite song to sing? I love singing about tortillas. That, that's a song. I like Frozen. Frozen? <laughs> yeah, like Let It Go. You yeah. Want, you wanna hear me sing it? I would love that, Christian. Let it go, let it go. I can't hold it. I can't keep listening to that. That was great. You know what's better than hearing Christian sing? Siri singing. That's right. And you're going to love this game if that's the case, because this game's called siri -oki. In this game, Siri's going to be singing a song. And we have to guess what that song is by hitting this buzzer. If we get it right, we get to take this tortilla and slap our friend in the face. If we get it wrong, then we get slapped in the face. You ready? Let's do it. All right, let's hear the first one. I'm ready. All right. Let's hear it, Siri. Siri. Somebody once told me. The world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. She was looking kind of dumb. What? Yep, yep. That will be uh, All Star by Smash Mouth. What is that song? <laughs> Have you never seen Shrek? You deserve this. Sing it, sing it to me. Somebody wants to win. That's so different. What do you mean? It's literally the lyrics. Look at me. <laughs> I'm afraid. I'm afraid for my life right now. <laughs> do it, Christian, do it. Do it. <laughs> oh. I took it easy on him that time. All right, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> yeah? Siri, hit it. This one is for my one and only true love, Princess Peach. Peach. Peaches. That was so By quick. By Bowser. That was so quick. Can you, wait, no, 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 no. I sing no, a no, last no, song. No, 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 Peaches, 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 Got him. Come on, Siri. Let's do the best shot. Fire away. Oh, we have a good one. They say I'm a rapper, and I say no. They say what you doing? Trying to do some Zydeco. I just let the music come from my soul. So all of my people can stay on the floor. They got a brand new dance. No way do you know what that song is. They say I'm a rapper, but I say no. Down now, it's the Cupid Shuffle. What? My tortilla ripped. <laughs> Nothing hits like a tortilla. Good thing we got more. <laughs> yeah. Let's go, Siri. What Wait. you got? Okay, let's do it. I'm the strong one. I'm not nervous. I'm as tough as the crust of the earth is. I'm the strong one. Dun, ba, 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 ba. What is that called? Um, um, pressure. Huh? Drip, 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 drip. Okay, it's. I actually don't know the song. <laughs> it's from a movie it's, called. It's in Canto. It's in Canto. Yeah. She does the drip, 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 drip. Na, 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 na. Whoa. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rip, take rip, 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 don't drop. <laughs> Whoa, uh oh. <laughs> oh. Yes. Surface pressure. That's the name oh. of the full song. Are you kidding me? You got to slap me before? It was like a partial answer, oh. all right? Surface pressure. My face trip, 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 hurts. Trip, 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 trip. Okay, next. There's a hundred and four days of. There's a hundred and four days of summer vacation and school Maybe it's comes for along. Maybe a theme song. Just to end it. Wait, 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 wait. So the annual problem for our generation is finding a good way to spend it. Like maybe building a rocket and fighting a mummy. <laughs> Dude, that was... It hurts more when you go open face <laughs> than when you round it up. No, you don't know. I haven't rounded it up. How you feeling, Christian? Ah, uh, my face hurts. Mine does too. Yeah, it tastes like tortilla. Yeah, this is our last one. Yeah, last round. Let's hear it, Siri. I think we're tied right now. Are we? What color is the sky? I, me amor, I, 
Me amor. You tell me that it's red. I. Oh, this is Coco. What color is this guy? I'm your more, no! I'm your more. You tell me that it's red. I'm your more, I'm your more. You say, put them on your head. I'm you your make more. me un poco loco. I, that's the one that I was, oh, un poco loco is the name of the song. You un poco loco. No! How about we do this? We'll slap each other in the face at the same time with a tortilla. Ready, set, <laughs> go. <laughs> Let's get to the first of the week. <laughs> ever sang karaoke before, then you know that there are two different types of people. There are the people who take karaoke very seriously and the ones who do not. Now, the people who fall in the first category will sing like their lives depend on it. This is their moment to shine. And the second group of people will sing songs that are so impossibly difficult to sing that it's pretty much only possible to turn it into a joke. Now, if you're like me, you fall into the second category. Now, I actually sing in real life, which is why this is funny. I've led worship here at church, and I actually used to sing opera in college. But when it comes to karaoke, it is all fun and games for me. If you don't sing very often, then singing might feel silly for you. Just like karaoke is kind of silly for me. And you might be one of those people wondering, why do we even sing at church? And this is a great question. The Bible actually has a lot to say about this. There's a whole book in the Bible called Psalms. This book is a collection of poems, prayers, and you guessed it, songs to God. Psalm 118, 13 through 15 says this, I was pushed back and about to fall, but the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. Shouts of joy and victory resound in the tents of the righteous. The writer of this Psalm is praising God for his power. And that's one of the reasons we sing at church, to celebrate God's power and love. Right now, let's open our Bibles, read this verse again, and talk about it.
there's something that I'm not very good at, but I love with all my heart, and that's competition. I compete in everything I do. Eating, swimming, running, crying. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors, screaming! Speaking of competition, there's this one time I went to a camp and we had this camp-wide tournament. This tournament lasted for days. Four teams, hundreds of competitors, scavenger hunt, basketball, soccer, hot dog eating contest? Who's, whose idea was that? Either way, we were battling tooth and nail for a whole week. Our team, the orange team, we were in second place right behind the purple team. And it all led up to this. Boom, boom, boom! Four square dodgeball tournament. I know. I know, that sounds insane. How does that game work? Let's ask referee Christian. Four squares, four teams, each with a set amount of ammunition. Dodgeball, how do you win? By winning. Now, every other team had at least 100 people, but our team was nowhere to be found. They were probably still recovering from eating 10 million hot dogs. So we were left with about 20, ish people on our team? But that didn't matter. We banded together, knowing that we were at a disadvantage and we zoned in. There was absolutely no way that we could win this, but for no reason at all, we had all the confidence in the world. The game starts and immediately we're under fire. We're fighting back as much as we can using guerrilla warfare tactics. We would attack, run back, attack, run back over and over and over until every other team was left with about 20-ish competitors. But as I looked around, I realized we were down to four. It didn't matter though. We were invincible. We dodge left, right. Yellow team out, red team destroyed by shield willpower. There was no way we should have got here, but we did. The moment of truth, orange versus purple. This battle would decide the entire tournament and we were not backing down. We whittled down their forces little by little, one by one. The crowd chanted behind us, orange, orange, orange. 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 And with one final throw, straight to the face, it's decided. People rushed the field with shouts of joy, knowing that the odds were stacked against us. But this was our moment. We found our victory. And in one voice, the entire field erupted in. We are the champions, my friends. Bum, bum. Yeah, I love winning competitions, but I've also been on the losing side. There's this one time I was on a soccer team and we all went to the playoffs and too bad I forgot which side our net was on. Losing stinks. But in all reality, dodgeball doesn't matter. Soccer doesn't matter. There's tons of real things that I want to succeed in. I want to succeed in being a better friend, being kinder to my brothers, even though they're the worst, or even succeed in reading my Bible every day and praying every day. There's a lot of things that I want to succeed in, but I can't do it on my own. In Psalms 118, 13 through 15, it says, I was pushed back and about to fall, but the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and my defense. He's become my salvation. Shouts of joy and victory resound at the tents of the righteous. The Lord's right hand has done mighty things. We are gonna face challenges that we can't handle on our own. But here's the cool thing. When we're struggling to overcome them, we can always lean on God. Just like I did with my teammates during dodgeball. God is our strength and our defense. And the reason why is so simple. He loves you. And that right there is something to celebrate. It's why every week in a church, we worship God through singing. We sing about how we don't need to worry because our powerful God is defending us. We worship because he hears us, he wants to defend us and care for us. In fact, the word defense can be translated to mean song. And our songs of worship don't need to just be at church. We could worship at home. We could worship at school, in the car, anywhere. Wherever you feel any challenge, we can remind ourselves of God's strength through worship. God is always with us, and if we need him, we can always lean on him for help. So the next time you're faced with a challenge, remember, we sing to celebrate God's power and love.